The uh, sun does not always shine in West Virginia, but the people always do. Hi, my name is Derek McIntyre. I'm the Deputy Volunteer Fire Chief here at uh, Shenston Fire Department. And we, along with the public, have witnessed everything about the devastation that's happened down south in the floods. So we decided as a, as a leadership crew, uh, we were text messaging back and forth yesterday, and we said, what can we do to help? So we decided, you know what, we're going to put together a, a relief drive. And when we did, we thought, well, at first we'll just get a couple trailers and we'll, we'll put it on Facebook. We'll say, well, let's get a little bit of water. Let's get a little bit of bleach, uh, cleaning supplies, and we'll take it down to them and, and wherever they want to go. Well, as the day went on, it got a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. And we're to the point now we have two tractor trailer fulls of cleaning supplies, brooms, brushes, toiletries, toothpaste, uh, toothbrushes, feminine hygiene, uh, deodorant. We, we're taking 3,700 pounds of lime, uh, and that was something that was requested strictly from Nicholas County. Uh, we're taking, uh, I think we loaded 40 pallets of water. 40 pallets of water. Uh, we're taking eight or nine pallets of bleach, and we have, our crews here, have done nothing but all day long receive from the community. After we receive from the community, we're wrapping it up, putting it on pallets, and this is all volunteer. It doesn't get any better than this. This is West Virginia taking care of West Virginians. It doesn't get any better than this. Uh, and it's just not me. I'm just talking on the video. This is, there's people behind the scenes. The, the men and the women who are in that building right now, the people who brought the donations in, that's who this all belongs to. And I want to say thank you to everybody who was, has been involved in this. You know, this is, this is bigger than the Shinston Fire Department. We, our relationship with the Shinston, uh, or we are Shinston, with the Spelter Fire Department, the Lumberport Fire Department, Nutter Fort, Stonewood, Mount Clare. I've talked to West Milford's chief, um, Salem. We've got stuff coming from all over the county to go down from us. And you don't know what that feels like. It, it's unbelievable. And if you could help out in any way, if you can send water, and, and a lot of people are saying, what do we do with cash donations or, or money, or checks, whatever? We don't want that. Uh, we, we've, we've taken a few and we're going to in turn turn that back into the same thing we're doing here. Uh, but we don't want that. You would want to contact your local Red Cross representatives uh, or contact me. Uh, my telephone number is 304-266-9093. That's my cell phone. You can call me, you can text me, and I'll get you in touch with somebody where, that, that can help that out and put that money in the right direction. Uh, th this is just great. Uh, I, I don't have any other words to describe how our community came together to take care of West Virginians because that's what we do. That's what we do and, and that's that's where we're at with it. So again, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been involved in this and this is day, this is the project number one. We're going to try to do this again. Um, I don't know exactly when. It'll probably be a couple weeks from now but this is something that's going to complete devastation in the south and, and, and when the tide settles just a little bit so to speak and we really get focused in what we need I'll relay that message back out there and we'll, we'll start from scratch and we'll do it again because that's what we do.